Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Herbert, and today I'm just gonna take you through one more example of graphing a rational function, and this one is going to have multiple transformations. So the function given is f of x equals two over x plus two plus four. So you can see on the left that we already have our parent set of points. So now we need to look at f of x and figure out the transformations that are going to affect the x and y variables. So right away I notice that in the denominator I have a plus 2. I know that changes to x are opposite, so every x is going to decrease by 2. Out to the right I see a plus 4. That's going to affect the y variable by adding 4. In addition, in the numerator we have a 2, which is an a value, also affecting y. So we're going to multiply every y by 2 and increase them by 4. So let's go through and figure out what our new x values are. Subtracting 2 from every x gives us negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, I'm going to go ahead and put a line through that because I know that at 0 the function was undefined. Now the graph is going to be undefined at negative 2, negative 1, and 0. So every y gets doubled and then increased by 4. So our new set of y values is 3, 2, 6, and 5. Okay, so let's think about the transformations. Before we plot our set of points, I always like to begin by graphing the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So I know that the graph has shifted two units to the left because our rule for the x's became x minus 2. So our vertical asymptote is also going to shift two units to the left. So the equation of the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch in that vertical asymptote. I know that the horizontal asymptote can always be found by looking out to the right at that k value. That plus 4 means that the entire graph has shifted up 4 units, so the vertical or the horizontal asymptote has also shifted up 4 units. So its equation is y equals positive 4. Okay, now let's go back and plot our points so we can create our two branches. So we have a point at negative 4, 3, another point at negative 3, 2, a point at negative 1, positive 6, and a point at 0, 5. So I'm going to connect the points on the right to sketch the first branch. And I'll connect the points on the left to create the second branch. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is list the domain and the range. So domain is a set of X values. So as we move from left to right, we're coming from negative infinity, and we reach this break in the graph at negative 2. So the first interval of the domain is from negative infinity to negative 2. But there's a second branch of the graph that begins just after x equals negative 2 and it continues towards positive infinity. So negative, in negative 2 to positive infinity. If I read the graph from the bottom all the way up to the top, 
it comes from negative infinity all the way up to four and there's a break in the graph and then it continues just after four and it goes towards positive infinity. So the range is negative infinity to four union four to positive infinity. Okay, the last thing we wanna do is list our transformations and there were a total of three of them. Starting with the A value of two, what that A has done is it has stretched this graph vertically by a factor of two. So vertical stretch by two. The graph has also shifted to the left two units. We can see that because our vertical asymptote is at x equals negative two. And the graph has also shifted up four units because the vertical, sorry, the horizontal asymptote is now at y equals four. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. And from here, I want you guys to go back into uh, your Schoology folder for the day and take a look at your practice. Remember, you can always go back to yesterday's notes and uh, use those to help you. Remember to reach out to your teacher if you have any questions. Bye, guys.